I have a dream, a long-lasting dream to use my mobile phone as a Linux laptop. So wherever I go, I can just plug my phone into a dock and have all my work with me all the time. I don't want to use multiple devices. With projects like UbiPorts, my dream is slowly becoming a reality, but there is still a long way ahead of us. Today I'll show you NextDock, which is a laptop powered by a smartphone or Raspberry Pi. Companies like Microsoft and Canonical worked on convergence for a long time, so when you plug your phone to a big screen, the user interface will transform itself into a desktop. In 2015, I bought Lumia 950. It was a phone from Microsoft which had a dock into which you could plug your external display, keyboard and mouse and which offered desktop-like Windows experience with some limitations. It was a step in the right direction, but the experience was not very good. Canonical, the creator of the Ubuntu Linux distribution, had a similar vision. They wanted to adopt Ubuntu to mobile phones and to turn them into fully usable computers when connected to dock. Ultimately, they abandoned the idea, but the project still lives thanks to the community and the folks from UbiPorts. And there are other groups with similar efforts like Plasma Mobile. In 2018, three years later after Lumia 950 was released, Samsung came with their solution called DAX. For the original version you had to buy custom accessories. Later, a simple USB-C to HDMI adapter was enough. For quite some time, Samsung even provided a way how to run Linux on your phones. Sadly, their solution was abandoned in October 2019. Samsung DeX might be a viable solution, but it is bound only to Samsung devices. But nowadays, all modern Android smartphones are capable of HDMI output through their USB-C ports. Android 10 came with a hidden desktop mode, which introduced this desktop experience to a handful of non-Samsung phones. Back in the day, this mode was highly experimental. You could turn it only through developer options. But this mode is getting some care and over time, more and more upcoming mobile devices will offer decent support for it out of the box. And here we come to NextDuck. NextDuck is nothing else like a display with its own keyboard, touchpad and its own battery. All this is packed inside the aluminum chassis which reminds of Ultrabooks. Sadly I was not able to hook up my smartphone to this next duck because it's already an older model and it doesn't support the HDMI output. So I have no experience with this Android desktop mode. But if you think that this next dog is just a paperweight for me and dust collector, you are wrong because NextDuck also supports the Raspberry Pi mini computers and luckily I have plenty of those in my closet. So let's take a look how it all works. NextDuck resembles Ultrabooks in many ways. On the left side you can find a couple of USB-C ports and one input HDMI port. You can use that when your device can send image over USB. On the right side is a single USB-A port and a headphone jack. I was pleasantly surprised by a keyboard, which has a nice grip and its keys are quite big. Part of the accessories is a power charger, necessary cables and adapters. All you really need to hook up your device. The connection varies based on the device you have. NextDuck gives you a nice brochure. Also on their website you can find the list of all supported devices. You need to connect Raspberry Pi 4 using two cables, while one of them is a special Y splitter. However, if you add one line into the configuration file, you can use a standard USB-C cable instead of the splitter. And because the Raspberry Pi has micro HDMI output, you also need an adapter to full-sized HDMI. It is also included in the accessories. On the Raspberry Pi, I installed the latest Raspberry OS. Ubuntu will work also good. Perhaps even Windows 10 for ARM should work just fine. 
I just didn't test it though. At the moment I use NextDock primarily as a portable display for Rubsbrake Pi. It works just fine for that purpose. If there was no visible Rubsberry connected to the dock, you would have a feeling that you work with a real laptop. It has working FN keys, brightness and volume controls. All bells and whistles you got used to. Especially if you are an embedded developer like me, such a solution saves you time tremendously. You don't have to disconnect your existing display, keyboard and mouse from your computer. Because doing this repeatedly is a bummer. As I found out, NextDuck is not perfect. I wanted to use my NextDuck as a monitor which I can hook up to my digital camera. But the HDMI port is picky and I managed to get it work only once. Also, when you connect just the HDMI, the brightness and volume control don't work at all. The micro HDMI to HDMI adapter is bad quality. It broke after a couple of uses. Luckily these adapters are dirt cheap and easy to find. Imperfections like this bother me, but I still think it's a valuable device for a certain niche. Using my mobile phone instead of a laptop makes sense to me. The performance of today's smartphones is more than enough for everyday tasks. And NextDuck is a really decent piece of hardware which can serve you well on your travels. So guys, what do you think about convergence? Can you imagine working with your smartphone instead of your laptop? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye bye!